The only true freedom a man has is the ability to make up his own mind. Here's the reality, gents. Most men have not given any thought. They're not thinking about what they're doing, what they want to accomplish with their life. And I get it, gents. Making up your mind can be tough. You're distracted by your phone. Your parents are telling you to do one thing. Your girlfriend's telling you to do another. At the same time, you've got to make money. You've got to find a way to make it through today. So sometimes, yeah, you just put off thinking about your life and you put your head down and you do what you're told to do. Gents, you can't outsource this. You can't hand it over to someone that you feel is smarter, more responsible than you. You've got to make the decisions here in your life. And the scary part about this is you're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to fall down. But gentlemen, the sooner that you take control and that you take a step back and you think about where do you want to go in life? What do you want to do with this precious gift you've been given? All of a sudden, you can start to take responsibility. You can start to take ownership. Yes, you're going to fall down. You're going to make mistakes, but you're going to start having the strength and the power to continue on and to go after what you really want in this life. The next life lesson learned too late, you slept through life. I'm talking about going through life and not having anything you're passionate about. Sleepwalking through life, gentlemen, is not a way to live your life. And we do this all the time. I fall into it because guess what? These electronic devices, they turn us into zombies. We've got our kids around us. Our kids who will never be at this age again, who are there wanting to talk to us, wanting to share a story with us. And what do we do? We fall into our phone. So one of the best things you can do, guys, turn your phone off at a set time during the day. I know you've got to use it sometimes to communicate, but do you always need to be on it? Find a way to break free. Find things that you're passionate about. Set up appointments to go out and go explore a nature trail with your family. Here's the thing, gentlemen. If you're not passionate about your job, I get it. We can't all, and I'm very practical about this, maybe find our life calling in our work, but we can look for it. We can't actually go out there and try to find it. Whatever it may be, gentlemen, Put in the effort to find your passion so that you could live your life with vigor because this is who you got to answer to, not me, yourself. On your deathbed, you're going to look back and say, hey, was I able to do, was I able to explore? Maybe, yeah, you had a job that you can't really say much about, but you loved scuba diving and you always found time to take your family out scuba diving and introduce them and you kind of built a little reputation and name for yourself because you were so passionate about it and you explored all these areas. That is something worth living and worth going out there and doing. Do not sleepwalk through life. This is your one life, your one chance. You've got to live it with vigor, with passion. The next life lesson learned way too late. We spend a lot of time worrying about things that never happen. Gentlemen, fear keeps us from trying and going after so many things. You need to find a way to overcome fear because fear is smart. Fear is going to be logical. It will break out exactly why you do not want to do this. Fear is going to be emotional. It will find a way to get in the back of your mind and just scream at you so that, yeah, you're scared to try. And yes, it's okay. As men, we are scared of things. We you know, try to find excuses not to do things. And one fear I'm okay with is the fear of regret. I do not want, at the end of my days, to have regret that I didn't try something. It was Franklin Delano Roosevelt that said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And I love this quote because it talks about fear as human nature. It's a very natural thing, but we've got to find a way to overcome it if we want to reach our full potential. The next life lesson most men learned way too late, stop complaining, stop blaming. And guys, I get it because you worked really hard all day and you come home and gosh, she expects me to do all this. Yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to complain. This is, you know, she needs to actually put in the effort or at work. I get it. You put in all that work, all that effort and people on your team, they're not picking up. They need to be seeing this to completion. Why didn't they do a better job? It's definitely not your fault. When you're always complaining, when you're always blaming others, even if it's warranted, you fall into the trap of not being able to to change yourself because you're expecting others to change. And here's the deal is you cannot change other people. They can only change themselves in the same way that you can only learn from this experience, that you can only take a step back and say, okay, am I seeing everything here? I'm coming home. I'm complaining to my wife that she doesn't have things together. My girlfriend, you know, oh, wait a minute. She actually was taking care of the kids and two of them were sick all day and she had all this other stuff going on. When you stop complaining and you take on the responsibility, you're no longer trapped. You now have the power to change yourself. The next life lesson learned way too late. You can see the future by knowing your past, by studying 
your history. So many guys do not realize that if you study history, if you study human nature, you'll be able to oftentimes see what people are going to do. You can accurately predict if you understand that we are this, we have the same genetic material that our grandfathers and our great, 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 great grandfathers had. So why not learn from their mistakes, learn from their experiences and guys understand your history. And there's so many great options out there. I love autobiographies. This one by Felix Dennis, he's the founder of Maxim. What he talks about, what I loved are his real experiences, the pitfalls of drugs, how he fell into that, what his thoughts were, how he, despite having all this money, how did he waste tons of that money? He talks about all this and that's what I love about a good autobiography. Some of them, yes, they're going to be written by people that are incredibly famous and they're trying to project an image. Other times you're going to find ones that are incredibly raw and give you an insight to the human condition, the human soul. What you start to understand here is that human beings, we think we're very, very similar and that we fall into these traps. We have, men have, you know, throughout history have made very, have made the same mistakes again and again and again. And if you want to decrease the likelihood that you're going to fall into those mistakes, you can simply go back and read how did these people fall into this and how can I take steps to make sure I don't make those mistakes and that I take steps in the right direction to get where I want to in life. This information, it's not just in books. You can go out there, talk to some people that are in your own company that have been at that company for 40 years and have made their way up and learn from them. How have they been able to, you know, figure all this out? They want to impart this information on you. Some that retired 15 to 20 years ago, he's sitting around. He'd love to tell you more stories about how he built up and started three businesses and you know, is now incredibly successful. These type of people are out there and they're a lot easier to reach than what you would think. The point is the information is out there, the experiences you can learn from so you don't go out there and make mistakes which you could have avoided. The next life lesson that too many men learn way too late is that the precursor to being successful is being prepared. I was a boy scout. That's our motto. Be prepared. Picked up my eagle, by the way. I had a great time and I did learn that if you're going to go out camping, you took out the right gear. If you are going to go on a 25 mile hike, you pack the right gear. You've got the right shoes. They're broken in. Otherwise you are going to suffer. It's the same thing in life. So many people think that they can just go through life and put off all the mon the mundane tasks that they don't need to spend the time preparing their wardrobe, ironing, washing, cleaning, making sure their clothing looks good, that they don't have to go in and think about and lay out and prepare things, not just at their home, but also at the office, at work. They think they can walk in and they're going to be able to show up to a presentation and be able to rely on natural talent. Guys, I will tell you, the person that's persistent, the person that puts in the effort, it wasn't just about prep time. It was about you building relationships, you going out there and doing your research, talking to people on the other side. So when you give that presentation, these guys actually have already seen it because they're part of the presentation. That presentation solidified a deal which took your company to the next level. That is the type of being prepared I'm talking about. And if you want to have success in life, you know that it's putting in the work, it's putting in the effort and there are no excuses. There are no shortcuts to getting to where you want to be if you really want to reach the top. The next life lesson most men learn way too late is that there's no reason to suppress their emotions. If you want to express love, if you want to express gratitude, if you want to express thanks, if you want to simply just give someone a sincere compliment, do it. We, we start thinking about, oh, what, what are other people going to think? I'm going to sound stupid. I can't express this. They already know it. Don't worry. Guys, that's not the case. These people aren't mind readers. If you've wanted to express, maybe a feel, you've had feelings for her for a long time and you know that she, you guys have talked, there's something there. Simply say it. Worst case, yes, you will sound stupid and she won't share the feelings. But what about the best case? What about if this is the start of that relationship that you know you've got to give it a shot? What about with your son? You never tell him you love him. Oh, he knows that. But what, what happens if you have a heart attack? What happens if you are hit by a bus and he never has heard the not in the last year? You want to have the courage. You need to have the strength to be able to express yourself. And yes, you may not know what to say. You may have to write it out. Maybe it is something you just give them a note, but find a way to be able to express sooner than later. In fact, don't wait. Express to people 
how much they mean to you because you're going to find it not only not only affects them but it affects you and it enables you to live i think a more fulfilling just better life so what video to watch next how about alpha male habits that are completely toxic and you need to avoid guys had a lot of fun with this video and i talk about things that some guys think are alpha male habits no these are things that no guy should be doing check it out